Hello, 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 and welcome to another one of my tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how to put GameCube and Wii on OpenMU. Um, first off, I want to give major props to Ducky77. He has a tutorial up, um, but I'm just noticing in the comments that people clearly are not getting their answers. Um, so I'm just going to kind of try to answer as many as I can here, which was best for me, how I set it all up, and how I got it to work. Uh, so first off, you go to the link that I provide in the description. Uh, this is Ducky77 GitHub, and it will contain all the uh, files you need. But you really only need is Dolphin Core, these two Dolphin Cores, the GameCube here, and the Wii systems here. So you don't need anything bigger than that. Once it's downloaded, it's going to be all in your downloads folder. You don't. This is just for when I, I downloaded Dolphin separately. Um, I don't know if you need it or not, but I didn't. Need, I, I don't think you need it. Uh, so you just need to have all these cores. So once then, we're just simply you gotta unzip them. So I'm just gonna unzip them here for you, and then and there we go. Okay, so they're all unzipped. Now you need to go to your applications so we're going to make a separate folder here so a new folder and we need to go to applications so you need to now go to open MU and say show package contents go into contents Mac OS no sorry my bad not Mac OS uh, it should be plugins thank you plugins systems and in here you want to put your GameCube and your Wii one, which will be down here, Wii and GameCube. So we don't need these, but you will simply just drag and drop in there. So we're just going to delete these because I don't need them. Now to get your cores, it's a little different. This doesn't provide in the contents where you need to put your dolphin cores. So you're going to close that. You're going to go to your finder, go, go to folder, and, and type this in. So I'll give you a second to read that go uh, then I, I opened it in the same folder but you go to your dolphin core oh not dolphin core <laughs> Jeez. Uh, you just go to um, cores and then you drop your dolphin core and your, the two dolphin cores which are in your downloads right here so once that is finished you have now officially gotten GameCube and Wii on the uh, Open MU and it should work just fine. Uh, as for controller layouts and stuff like that, I use the 360, which is the closest resemblance to the controller. So it, I would suggest just if you've got a GameCube controller or see an image of GameCube controller, lay it up the exact button way that it has. So if it's the X and Y are up in the corner, make the Y and B the corner, and then the X and the A as the as the lower buttons. Um, but it depends how you want to do your layout and it all works so I'm just gonna throw on um, double dash here yes um, a fair warning though this will always not save your game so go so you need to have um, a separate save file as you can see it's working just fine so what you need to do is save current game uh, and I type it as main save Save game. Oh. And then that's it. You now have double dash. But just in case, I'm just going to show another uh, example. Stop. Uh, I was playing everything. Or, oh, he's Smash Bros. So let's do Smash Bros. Yes. As you can see, um, there's my main save, but it's not gonna actually load where my last save is. See, it's not gonna load it, so I gotta go to my main save, and now all the information that I have saved uh, up to that point. So you just have to say no to the the memory card, and it's gonna do this. There's some glitches to it. It's not perfect, but it's great to just have if you have your mates over and you just need to play something. Anyways, that is it on how to get. GameCube and Wii on OpenMU.